welcome to Sterling Bucket List. We're Tom and Tracy. I'm Tracy. He's Tom. And we're retirees from St. Louis, Missouri. For a very, very long time, it's been our dream to live on our sailboat. We'll be sharing with you what our experience is like living our dream. This is episode 40. We are sailing to Bowers Harbor, Michigan on Memorial Day, 2023. This map shows the 36 nautical mile course the bucket list sailed from Charlevoix to Bowers Harbor, Michigan. Bowers Harbor is a beautiful anchorage on the Mission Point Peninsula due north of Traverse City. Okay, this is Sunday, May 28th. And where are we at, Tracy? We're in Grand Traverse Bay, heading for Bowers Harbor. Grand Traverse Bay, heading for Bowers Harbor. On this bright but chilly Saturday, we spend the whole day traveling to Bowers Harbor. There are rumors of paranormal activity associated with Bowers Harbor. Now, what we also know is that Bowers Harbor is a wonderful anchorage. We know that there's a wonderful restaurant called the Jolly Pumpkin. And adjacent to the Jolly Pumpkin is another property called the Mission Table. The Mission Table was previously known as the Bowers Harbor Inn. That and the Jolly Pumpkin are today very well-known tourist attractions, very popular. But Tracy, what do we know about the factual history of Bowers Harbor? In the 1860s, Bowers Harbor was surrounded by farmland owned by Chester and Anna Harton. In 1908, after they passed away in the house, the farm and house, which included an elevator, were purchased by Charles and Jenny Stickney. How did he make his money, Tom? Uh, he was a uh, uh, food processing business, and apparently he was quite successful. Okay. They had no children. As uh, Charles and Jenny aged, he hired a widowed nurse to care for them. After his death, Charles surprisingly left all of his property to that nurse. This is where the rumors begin. We're doing just over four knots. How much wind is there, Tom? Right now, 14 knots. 14 knots. 14 knots. There's Elk Rapids, Michigan. Behind us, way behind us now is Charlevoix. And over here, this side, is that Northport, Tom? Back this way? Yeah. Yes. Northport, Sutton's Bay. Big Bay, probably due west. Due west to Sutton's Bay, okay. If we could see past this peninsula, past the length of the peninsula, then you'd see Traverse City, Michigan. We're not going quite that far today. The red line on this map shows how Bucket List rounds the entrance into Bowers Harbor and approaches the anchorage. The blue line shows our route from the anchorage to the launch ramp by dinghy. And finally, the green line to the right shows the walking path from the launch ramp down to the Jolly Pumpkin. Where are we going, Tom? Heading to the Jolly Pumpkin in Bower Harbor, Michigan. One rumor about Bowers Harbor is that Charles Stickney had an affair with his nurse. And another story is that Jenny Stickney hung herself in the elevator shaft of their home. Reported paranormal activity at Mission Table include a customer reported looking at herself in a mirror and seeing an old-fashioned woman behind her when she turned around and one was dead. Another report is the doors 
open and slam shut by themselves. Personal items have gone missing only to turn up in strange places. Basement lights go on and off by themselves when no one is downstairs. And finally, elevator. The elevator in the home seems sometimes goes up and down by itself. After walking down from the launch ramp, Tracy and I are now entering the Jolly Pumpkin for lunch. The only thing unusual that we saw was several hundred beer mugs hanging from the ceiling in the restaurant. So, where are we going from, Trace? The Jolly Pumpkin restaurant. And did we enjoy it? Oh my gosh, yes. How could you not enjoy this? Drinking just the view. What do they charge for the view? <laughs> Can't afford it. <laughs> now where are we headed? Now we're going to the Bower Harbor Vineyard? Yes, that's it. Okay, so we finally wound up at Bower Harbor Vineyards. Okay, Tracy, how is life treating you? How is life treating me? Yes. Life is just dandy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't know how I could make it any better. Now hand me the camera. Oh boy. Oh boy, here you go. How's life treating you, Tom? Uh, most people would not deserve the life we're having right now. I think we do, but most people wouldn't. Pray tell, what in the world do we do to deserve this? I think we lived a great life and raised four wonderful kids. I think you're probably right about that. Then we're going to get back in our dinghy and we're going to go off to our sailboat. Our yacht. Our yacht. <laughs> and tomorrow we'll probably head back to Charlotte. Now, are you suggesting that Bower, Bower's Harbor is not haunted? Oh, we're going to let our, our viewers come here. As we pull our anchor to leave, we're thinking about the great time we've had at Bower's Harbor. We're also thinking about all the reports of paranormal activity here at Bower's Harbor. I see the anchor. You do? Yep. Just below the water. Now you're out of the water. Okay. We have just uh, left Bowers Harbor, where we spent two glorious days. Tracy's at the helm. Now we're heading back to Charlevoix. Right now, how much wind, Trace? 0 0.5. 0 0.5 knots of wind. Some people attribute the reported paranormal activity at Bowers Harbor to Jenny Stickney's anger over her husband's affair and the fact that he left his fortune to the nurse. Other people attribute it to the continued presence of three people who died in the house. It seems virtually impossible to prove the presence or cause of paranormal activity, so we won't even try. Let's just end this by quoting Haunting of Bowers Harbor Inn on hauntedhouses.com. Still haunted? Oh yes indeed. This concludes episode 40, Sailing to Bowers Harbor. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. That really helps us out. We'll see you next time.